OK, here's one way to do an accurate, precise uh, drawing uh, in AutoCAD 123D design. Uh, taking this one as an example, uh, if you start up a new um, project, uh, I'll multiply the um, dimensions by 10, uh, So, because I'm working in millimetres. Uh, so we'll start by laying down a rectangle. It's going to be on this grid, so I'm going to click anywhere on the grid. I'm going to pull it to be 110 in this direction and uh, just 100 in that direction. You don't have to use the grid, so that's highlighted in blue. I'm going to put 100 in there. Press Enter. That's an uh, highlighted in blue. I'm going to type 110, enter, press enter one more time, and that sketch is fixed. I'm going to put the locations of the holes uh, on there. Uh, so create another rectangle. Uh, this is the sketch I'm going to be uh, editing, adding those two. So I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to pull those, and that's going to be 20 by 20. 20 enter 20 enter and then enter one more time to fix it same on the other side another one there uh, click on this sketch and then 20 by 20 20 enter 20 and then enter again uh, these ones we've got to add um, the one um, uh, the 10 millimeters one centimeter to it so I'm going to repeat these whole centers, but this is going to be uh, it's that sketch. This is going to be 30 in this direction and 20 in that direction. So the 20 is there, but I'll put it in again. And the other one is going to be 30 uh, this time. And we'll do the same again in this corner. Uh, that's the sketch. Uh, pull this in. And I want it to be 30 by 20. Can't see that. So let's do the dimension 30 by 20. So that's fixed. Circles are pretty easy. Uh, I'll make these five more. Let's make them 4.7 uh, millimeters in diameter just because we can. Doesn't matter which of these, uh, either that one or that we click on. I'll click on the big one there. The center will be fixed there, and I'm going to make that. Uh, what did I say? I'll make it a bit bigger than two point uh, two point seven. I'll make it uh, seven point seven in diameter. Enter. Same on the other ones. Uh, that sketch. Pull it 7.7, .7, enter, same for these ones, uh, this sketch, pull the circle 7.7 .7, and then finally this one, uh, that's the sketch, click 7.7, .7. Uh, so those are the locations of the uh, holes. Um, we don't have to extrude, extrude that now, but we might just as well. Um, and but there are various ways you can do this, but I'll, I'll go a rather slow way. I'm just going to pick all the things I want to uh, extrude. Uh, so that's that. That's that. That's that. Uh, the extrusion bar comes up when you select things. I'm going to extrude it, showing me the correct direction to extrude it. So all I need to do is type in, it doesn't say, but I reckon 10 millimetres. Again, that could be any figure you want. So that's the holes located uh, accurately on there. We'll, um, I'm going to hide that because uh, it, it'll get in the way, so I can hide that solid. Uh, let's do the other end, which is uh, just a hundred one centimeter rectangle so let's put it on this sketch and I'm going to edit this one doesn't matter 
again, although there's a convenient grid for this particular application, I just want to, I could just type that in uh, 10 and 100 uh, like that. Uh, that's going to be extruded up um, and so we can uh, extrude that up. Uh, might as well do that now. That one and that one. Uh, we'll extrude that up, and that's got to be extruded up by 11. So 11. Uh, in fact, I meant 110. Let me undo that. Do it again. One, two. Bit hard to select this one, but it's there. Extrude that up 110. Uh, I'll bring back the other um, mesh so we can see how it's coming along. Uh, so that's more or less it. Um, got to put some squares uh, on here. Um, not always easy to deal with these. Um, these faces on 3D uh, solids, uh, but we'll give it a go. Uh, so I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go away and then come back again and click again. And that gives me something uh, that I can uh, sort of edit on and look at. Uh, in fact, I'm going to Pull another sketch on the front here. Again, I could type that in. It happens to be a convenient figure, so I don't have to type, but you can put it in both boxes. 100 up there, 100 there. Enter for it to fix. And then, well, there are various ways of doing the squares. Uh, let's make these squares uh, one centimeter um, uh, square. So I'll just do some simple construction. Uh, let's put them. Uh, so, sorry, I don't know what I did there. Let me escape out of there. Uh, so, click on this sketch to edit it. And we'll bring those in. Uh, let's set them... Uh, let's set them 20 in. Enter. I'll do another one. Uh, we'll edit this sketch. We'll do that one 20 down. Again, I could type these in. That's that. We'll do, uh, sorry, I've got that in. Uh, then we'll do another one. We'll edit this sketch. We'll start down here. 20 in. And I'm going to go right the way to the top. And press enter. And then finally the one along the bottom. Uh, where are we? There. I'll edit that sketch. I'll make that one 20 up. Uh, so we've got somewhere there. I'm going to hide the um, the uh, the solid again uh, because it makes it a bit easier. Uh, I'll put some squares here. Let's make them seven square. Just for the hell of it. So we'll go there. We'll make that 7, 7, enter. Do the same over here. Uh, edit this one, 7 and 7. 7, enter, 7, enter, enter. Couple more. Uh, edit that sketch. Seven, seven, enter. One more. Down here, edit the sketch. Seven, seven. Uh, so we've got those now ready to extrude those into the solid. Let's bring the solids back and then each one of these, zoom in a bit so we can click on them, each one of these, 
uh, needs to be extruded. Uh, so in fact I can do all four simultaneously if I can select them. Hold down control. So it's two selected. It's a bit slow, sorry. Waiting for the uh, software to free up. The uh, camera um, seems to be a real pain. Let me see if we can get it. Uh, zoom in, control, click. Zoom in, control, and click. So I've got four now. We need to extrude those inwards. Uh, so I'll extrude those inwards rather than outwards. Uh, so I'm going to put minus 10 in. Again, we could don't have to go all the way through, but I think that's what it's showing on the diagram. Uh, press Enter. And then I think we've done the job. Uh, I can hide all of the um, sketches if they get in the way. And so we end up uh, with an object like that. Uh, if we're worried about the overlap, which I don't think we are, you can actually merge these. Um, so if you combine them and we merge them, I'm going to merge that target with this source and the two then get merged together. Um, so they're, they're a single entity. Hope that helps. Cheerio.